The clever Christian tells us that you see this miracle of Jonah. Jesus wasn't talking about dead or alive. He was talking about the time factor. Look, listen. Jesus says, For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the way, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the belly of the earth. He uses the word three, four times to emphasize is the time, time, time. This is the important thing, the miracle. I said, what is miraculous about the time factor? The miracle is when you expect a person to die and if he doesn't die, that's a miracle. Time, whether you are in prison for three days or three weeks or three months and you come out alive, so what? That's not a miracle. The miracle is when you expect a man to be dead and he is alive. That's a miracle. But he said, no, no, no. Drowning man clutches at straws. And drowning women also do the same. Something to hold on to. Clutching straws. So he says, it's a time factor. I said, all right, let's examine that. Did you fulfill that? He said, yes. How? Again, bankrupt. I'm telling you, I, I'm talking from experience. Therefore, I'm talking, I said, come, let's have a dialogue. Your bishops and popes, His Holiness the Pope, I said, let's have a dialogue. It's a long story. It's another story, another lecture about dialogue between me and the Pope. It's another story. But I said, come, let's talk. Your bishops and your archbishops, come talk. Talk to me. Argue and debate with me. Let the people listen and let them make up their minds where the truth lies. So it's the time factor. So I'm asking, when was he crucified? Good Friday. Good Friday. It's a Friday. What makes Good Friday good? He said, because Christ died for our sins. When? Friday. Right? Yes, Friday. That's what makes Good Friday good. I said, when was it? In the morning or the afternoon? So the clever man tells me it was in the afternoon. It was about three o'clock that he was put on the cross. And no man is expected to die within three hours on the cross. It was supposed to be a slow, excruciating death. That was the purpose, not for killing a man. The Phoenicians had tried, you know, spearing the man, he died too soon. Drowning the man, he died too soon. Boiling water, boiling oil, died too soon. Mm -hmm. They wanted somebody to die slowly. The guy is lingering on and on, three days, four days, five days. At times history records, up to six days the guy would be alive on the cross. It was to be a slow, lingering death. That was the purpose of crucifixion. But they say he died. Okay. So, before evening they brought it down. And the Bible tells us, the Jews gave him a Jewial, Jewish burial bath. The Hosal, Hosal, we give to the dead. Then they put 100 pound weight of medicants around him. Like we put camphor to the deceased. 100 pounds weight to put that plastering, 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 100 pound. That's what the Bible says. 100 pounds weight. And they put a shroud around him and they put him into a sepulchre. Sepulchre is not a grave. It's not a grave. It is a big roomy chamber. According to Jim Bishop, a Christian author, in his, in his The Day Christ Died, in the name of his book, he said that this tomb was five foot wide by seven foot high and by 15 feet deep. It was like a big roomy chamber with a ledge or ledges inside. So they put him into that sepulchre and they put a stone in the opening and they went away and there was a storm, thunderstorm, lightning, earthquake, Shh. everybody would enjoy their Roman holiday, everybody runs away home, you don't want to get wet, an earthquake, Shh. all these things to chase people away, giving helping hands if they were there to help him, to secure him, to save him, all right. Let's not go into details. So by the time they brought it, the body down, hurry, hurry, hurry. They were in a hurry to put him up. Now in the Bible, and they were in a hurry to bring him down because of the Sabbath. Because on Friday at sunset, it is the Sabbath. You are Musab. It's the night comes first, then the day. Islam, in Islam, night and day. Ramadan starts. See the moon? Night. Ramadan first night. You see the moon? Ramadan starts. You see the moon? Stop fasting. Same thing to the Jews. At sunset, the day changes, not the westerner, for midnight. Damn it all, you wait till midnight to see the day is changing, but that's your system. 
that's just from 12 midnight. You say now it's 12, 1, 1 a.m. 1 a.m. in the morning. So, right. So they brought the body down. And they put the body into the grave. Into the sepulchre. Sepulchre, not a grave. So, Friday night, he's supposed to be in the grave. Saturday morning, the Bible doesn't say when he came out. Saturday morning, he's still supposed to be in the grave. Watch my fingers. No tricks of the hand, in the sight of the hand, the, the guy in the circus, you know, he's clowning and he's doing this and that and he's deceiving you with his movements of his fingers. Mm -hmm. No, watch, watch here, watch mine. Friday night, he's supposed to be in the grave. Saturday day, he's still supposed to be in the grave. Saturday night, he's still supposed to be in the grave. Sunday morning, the first day of the week, when Mary Magdalene goes to the tomb, the tomb is empty. This is exactly I'm reading your Bible word for word, verse for verse. Friday night, he's supposed to be in the grave. Saturday day, he's supposed to be in the grave. Saturday night, he's still supposed to be in the grave. Sunday morning, the first day of the week. Sunday morning, not Monday. Sunday morning, the first day of the week, when Mary Magdalene goes to the tomb, the tomb is empty. So I'm asking, how many days and how many nights? Come, come, look, look. It's very simple, well, by God, no, if your eyes are not, you're not short-sighted, <laughs> you can see. How many nights and how many days? Huh? Two nights in a day. Look, Friday night, Saturday day, Saturday night, Sunday morning, he's not there. Two nights in a day. What did he say? For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the whale, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the belly of the earth. He said three and three, three and three. What we see is two and one. I want to know from you Christians whether this two and one and three and three is the same. Do you know, even an Einstein can't help you? No Einstein can help you in this. Look at this thing, simple exercise. Two nights and a day. He said three and three. Three and three. He repeats it four times. And he's only giving you two and one. Again, he let you down. Look, there's something wrong. That's what the Muslims trying to tell you. There's something wrong with your reading of this. I'm not saying that your Bible is false. This is wrong. No, 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 no. I don't say that.